What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Magna F. And we're going back to his 2008 album, A Dot of Black and the Blue of Your Bliss. And the next tune is More Than Good Enough. It makes me want to do a follow-up Cindy Lauper joke, but silliness aside, it suggests that whatever the behavior is, whatever the experience is, is beyond the minimum requirement to satisfy whatever emotional or functional role that it uh, is intended to serve. Um, it could perhaps be an assessment of someone's behavior or attitude toward another person, whether in a relationship in the, you know, sort of romantic way or not. Um, it could be, I suppose, ironic. Uh, I feel like with mags that's less likely, but it could be like, oh, don't worry, it's more than good enough. You know, you, you've satisfied, you've done your due diligence, but um, I'm in, more inclined to see it as a um, sincere sentiment. Nevertheless, let's find out what it actually is. This is Mags, or Magna F, and the tune is More Than Good Enough from this 2008 album, A Dot of Black in the Blue of Your Bliss. <laughs> to Magna F material, and this is another clear example. It does sound genuinely supportive, and perhaps towards someone who is a bit, you know, fearful, is a bit hesitant, you know, when they don't know how things are going to turn out, maybe they don't want to try things, and the idea of, like, don't hide your pretty face, don't hide those pretty eyes, 
could be about, you know, get out and face it and, you know, we'll be, I'll, we'll do it together. Um, and, you know, you'll rise again, which I feel like maybe that is more specific and I'm not sure if that fits in with the way it sounded, but it sounded like someone who's genuinely trying to get someone to feel the, like, that it's okay if you don't know how this is all going to turn out. And it's okay if occasionally, you know, things, you know, don't feel like they're working or, you know, maybe you made a mistake. Like, again, it felt genuinely supportive. So I'm not sure if I'm reading all the little um, twists and turns of that one lyrically uh, correctly, but it felt very much within the emotional um, ballpark that we typically find Mag's tunes to be. So, um, yeah, another sweet tune. Uh, again, I enjoy his singing greatly. I w it made me laugh a little because people have talked about, you know, when I've been going through the material outside of Han, you know, sometimes, you know, it's like almost, I feel like indulgent to like consider, hmm, is this something that could relate to AHA as a group and so on. And I realize there's like a time phase where maybe that is more likely. And again, there's some songs which, you know, people have explained to me are seen as like directly related to the tensions behind the scenes. But I was thinking like, oh, you know, could this maybe be another one? And then he's talking about don't hide your pretty eyes. And I was imagining him singing to Paul and it made me laugh internally. Um, but yeah, ultimately, um, as I said, it feels very sincere um, and genuine in the emotions. So in any case, uh, shout out to Mags. Um, again, we have the like full compliment. So I think there's like three tunes different. I think some versions only have, what is it, like five tracks and others have eight. So uh, either way, we'll go through everything. Um, and then in the moment, I don't remember what may be, you know, else available um, for Magna F beyond that. But um, we'll go down that road when we come to it. Do let me know what you think of this. I will see you next time. Peace.